remember the day when I first began university. Uh, I rocked up to the residential college, St. Francis College in Wagga, uh, and uh, I, I met the Dean. And uh, the Dean, I didn't realize, was actually a, 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 for, a former seminarian. He never went all the way to ordination, but uh, he'd had formation in the seminary. Uh, and I'd come to university a bit jaded in some ways. I'd always been brought up a Catholic, uh, you know, I always knew that God loved me. However, my experience in, uh, in high school uh, and my experience with uh, other young Catholics where I had grown up uh, was, was not spectacular. And so I, I had made a decision, a very, a very poor decision, to not share my faith with anyone, really. You know, my faith was mine and no one needed to know about that. Uh, and so I, I, that was the, 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 the firm resolution that I had, that, that I'd, I'd I'd taken. When I was I was bailed up one evening by a uh, a man who was evangelical from from one of our local Christian groups on campus, I started questioning. Well, hang on a second. Who is this guy telling me that my Catholic faith is wrong? And and you know, starting to to really push me in the direction of of. Uh, you know, you should be a, a Bible-believing Christian only. You know, get rid of that Catholic stuff. You'll you'll be sent to hell otherwise. And and so when when this guy sort of uh, bailed me up on campus, I thought, well, who can I turn to? Who can I speak to about this? And uh, I, I turned to my university dean, and he said to me, well, uh, let's sit down and have a chat. And so he he gave me answers to all these objections and these questions that that my my dear evangelical friend was, was, was raising. And the more answers that he gave me, the more in love with God that I, that I fell, uh, the more that, that faith in me was rekindled. Uh, and it really showed me the, the, the reason behind our faith uh, and showed me that God is a loving and patient God. Uh, you know, he didn't just forsake me and go, well, if you don't want to talk about me, fine. Uh, you know, he persevered with me, even though I'd made such a, a poor call as to say, you know, no, look, I'm, I'm not going to talk about you anymore. I'll just go and worship uh, privately. Uh, well, you know, God persevered with me and put someone in my life uh, who helped me to fall back into, in, in, in love with the faith. Uh, and, and since then, I can't stop talking about it. It's the most wonderful thing in the world.